Can you tell me what Karmasphere does? Yes, we're a big data intelligence software company. What that means is that we're focused on providing a new kind of software for working um, with big data stored in Hadoop clusters. In particular, we're focused on providing software for developers and analysts and doing it in such a way that they get sort of familiar tools and familiar environments and can quickly be very productive um, analyzing, transforming data uh, stored in Hadoop clusters. So you talk about developer tools. Does that mean you're you know, an IDE? Well, our first product, Karmasphere Studio, uh, actually works in an IDE. So we deliver it as an application that installs in the context of Eclipse uh, or NetBeans. Um, so again, it's provided to developers in an environment they're already familiar with. So, I mean, you know, analyzing the data is just part of it. One of the big problems for people is getting at the data in the first place and, and, and loading it in. How do you address that? Well, we address that. Um, what, one of the things that we're seeing with uh, Hadoop today is that there's sort of a number of phases that companies go through as they adopt a Hadoop. Often they start with sort of a small prototype R&D cluster, and as they typically get sort of very exciting results from that, they'll deploy it into production. Once they've deployed it into production, they're looking to interconnect it with other data sources in the organization and, as, and establish um, sort of ingress and egress points to relational databases and data warehouses. Mm -hmm. So at that point, they start to need the ability for both developers and analysts to be able to sort of pull data in, do the transformations or analysis, sometimes in a series of steps in a workflow, then push the data out, for example, into a relational database that might power you know, a web application, for example. So you were talking about you know, people being able to use data in, way, data in ways they're familiar with. Um, how do you do that exactly? Well, we choose sort of familiar environments or languages that large enterprise organizations or small enterprises for that matter have already made major investments in. So we talked about IDEs for our Karmasphere Studio product. We're about to release our Karmasphere Analyst product. And what we've chosen to do there, at least in the first release, is, pre is present a very familiar SQL interface. Mm -hmm. So that the, uh, all the, all the there are, I don't know if you know, there are 250,000 employers in the United States alone of SQL programmers. Right. So what we're trying to do is, is unlock their ability to work with big data um, through a familiar SQL interface. So once they've done that and got the data out, do you handle visualization? Well, there's sort of two parts really to the answer to that question. Um, the first part is uh, in terms of the sort of Hadoop cluster itself, one of the things that developers and analysts have been asking us for for the past 12 or 18 months have been sort of more graphical visualization, more ability to see what's going on in the cluster to help them see the progress of their jobs um, or help them to sort of analyze and debug what's going on as they sort of, as they design, prototype and develop these jobs. So we have sort of strong visualization tools at that level. On the front end, if you like, um, in terms of kind of what's presented to the user, we certainly have kind of rich graphical tools in our Karmasphere Studio and Analyst product, but we're also designing so that if people have already made investment in business intelligence products or sort of visualization um, software, then they can use that very easily in conjunction with Karmasphere products. So it sounds like what you're about basically is trying to fit Hadoop and big data inside the enterprise in a way that fits in with what they're already doing. Yeah, I think that's, that's an excellent question. We don't expect people who are embracing Hadoop to have to sort of sweep away everything they've invested in in terms of skill sets, hardware or software. It's all about an integration story and integration with existing skill sets as well as the software and hardware. Great. Thanks very much. You're welcome.